Hey guys, Metal Sash here again, and this time going over my gooey skins of how I got my selection box to look pretty. To show you guys what I'm talking about, because you guys don't know what a pretty box is, this is a pretty box. It looks like an actual RTS selection box, because it's green. I don't know why a lot of them are green, but I'm following the trend and making my box green. I uh, also some other things that I added to it when I move my player around and while I'm selecting it also moves my box according to it so that you get this nice selection effect that actually works so that you graphically see it. Even though it worked before you just didn't see it. it wasn't like you know you could see it on screen so you can now. Um, so I'm going to go over how I did that. Uh, just required some simple math to do. But to do my pretty box, I first actually created a uh, GUI skin in my assets. You do that by going to your assets and creating a GUI skin. Um, I named my GUI skin Player GUI because I can actually go use it for other things. Don't know why I was clicking the name so much. I used the uh, custom styles section for my selection box because I'm really only going to use that one time. I don't need to like change the box style to fit that. So I just used Element Zero as that. And I created this little 32 by 32 uh, pixel box and I uh, made it a little uh, opaque so that you would see the units through it so it looked like you know it wasn't overlaying it, it was you know it you're s you could still see stuff underneath it it's kind of like the um, normal texture they use for the uh, box here it's the same thing just the opacity is turned down a little bit um, so this is just a 2d texture that I set the background as I didn't want any rounded corners I just wanted a box and also set the this is important the border as 111 uh, if you set that higher say for instance I got crazy and wanted a 5 pixel border oh man 5 pixel border you can see some issues when you go and highlight up and in the other directions gets you that same thing look that I was talking about where your borders are kind of inverted so if you have a one pixel border you can actually just uh, come on undo there we go if you just undo that and if it's one pixel well it's not gonna mess up because it's just inverting a one pixel line that just inverts to the same thing and you don't get that same effect but you still get that border which is all I care about so to get that to the player I just set the uh, a GUI skin variable that you can access in the editor and set the player GUI to that so on to setting my box to style to that I set the GUI skin uh, for the game to that player GUI skin variable so that now anything I change in there change what I create in the GUI on the game. Now you gotta make sure your GUI actions are done in the on GUI uh, function otherwise the game will yell at you because it did that to me. Tried to set this outside of it. Um, then my box creation I think I've told you guys how I created my box before with the width height and XY position um, the uh, setting the styles pretty easy you just take the player GUI skin dot custom styles of zero that gets you access to this style zero uh, and that's it for set my box now how I move my box which is the important part uh, it's really just some simple calculations but figuring out is a little, a little time I just created a function called calculate screen conversion because your screen units and your 3D unit movement, they're going to be different amounts. 
So I needed a conversion factor to go from 3D units to screen units. So what I did is I casted re two rays, one starting at 0, 0, and one starting at the screen width and screen height, or shooting out, at, as not starting at, but uh, if you guys didn't know, the 0, 0 spot for Unity is actually the bottom left. And the screen width, screen height position is at the top right. I'm used to top left being zero zero, and the other way is like, I uh, bottom right is the maximum. But it's just a little thing that's kind of weird to me. Um, it's not that big of a deal. You just get to get used to it. So then I cast those two uh, rays, and what I do is I take for the x value, I take the width divided by the difference in the two x hits. And for the Y, I do the same thing, just opposite. A height divided by the um, Z value difference. Um, make sure that it's the Z value, because you're going left to right in 3D coordinates, not 2D coordinates, so it's not Y. I made that mistake and got this crazy giant value for um, my Y conversion unit because it was basically dividing by zero. It, it, was, it was kind of some weird errors. I... Uh, then to move it, it's pretty simple uh, to do. I was already getting the start mouse uh, position and my uh, get mouse button down event here. So I, I didn't need to get that already. I already had that. I just needed to change it. So I take that and depending on uh, if you're moving up, you actually want the um, box to move down. You want it to move in the opposite direction. So I subtract the amount, which is position here, times the conversion unit. Depending on if it's the Y value you're looking for, you want to use the Y unit conversion value. If it's the X1, you want to use the X unit conversion value. Um, and there's not much more other than in my scroll wheel um, event, when you scroll down, or zoom in in this case, because that's what scroll wheel does, uh, you want to recalculate that value for your unit conversions because your screen width to, to uh, 3D coordinates is going to be different. So you'll get this weird effect where I don't know if it'll move faster or slower because I didn't test this without it. I could, I mean... It's not that hard to just comment that out, but I, uh, if you didn't do that, you would get these weird movements where it's not lining up. So if you recalculate the conversion, it just fixes that. So whether I'm zoomed in really close, or zoomed in really far, trying to hold the mic near my face. Um, it works either way. So that's about it from updates, guys, on the uh, my player control and uh, GUI stuff. I got that done like the past week. I know I had some other videos up, but uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and see you next time.